Welcome everyone, Joe with ECRM here at our school and office and consumer tech sessions in New Orleans. And with me is Lloyd Wood from GFK NIQ, who gave a great presentation yesterday about the importance of product content, especially uh, for e-commerce. So we're gonna dive into some takeaways from that presentation. So thanks for joining us. And to start off, why is product content so important? Good question, Joe. Uh, product content is, is the way manufacturers and vendors sell their products on the virtual shelf. Uh, it's your communication. You're telling all the rich features and values and why somebody should buy your product in a very uh, neat, clean e-commerce presence. So it's your virtual salesman in, on the e-commerce shelf. And uh, there was one thing, that, uh, one phrase that you mentioned during the presentation that really resonated. It's like, that's the last step. That's that one last step between the consumer and the sale of that product. That's exactly right. That consumer mm -hmm. is going to your e-commerce pages um, and they're, what they want to do is to make a purchase. What you have between you and them making that purchase is your product content. You don't want that to be a delaying element. Mm -hmm. So if you have good titles, uh, you have good uh, content, good images, good A plus content, mm -hmm. that's going to make that consumer, A, you're gonna educate them on what that product does. B, you're gonna gain their trust. Mm -hmm. They're gonna trust they have the right product and make a buying decision. Great, could you walk us through the different elements that make up this good product content? Sure, absolutely. So there's basic elements um, that generally start with a well-written title. The title is what communicates what this thing does, what the values are, uh, generally with the model numbers in it and the key features. Mm -hmm. Then generally a little bit lower in the page are the, are the attributes, the titles and uh, the, at, the product attributes. And this is showing in a bulleted way what this product does mm -hmm. and so if you're on a mobile device it's quickly communicating this product is this it does that you're, you're communicating quickly to a customer it's not going to spend much time deciding if this is the right product or not generally below that you have the image carousel images are super important buyers are about 1.6 times more likely to buy when there's multiple images you want them to be of high res, you want them to be clear, you want them to communicate quickly to the customer what, what your product does. And of course, with images comes the, the videos, the extended reality, the virtual reality, all the other rich uh, element uh, uh, parts that are so important to understanding what your product does. And then of course you have the marketing text. Mm -hmm. All of this is designed to communicate what your product does quickly to a buyer who has specific requirements in their mind. So basically, if I'm a consumer on an e-commerce site, on a particular product page, I should have no other questions once I see all that information. That's correct. You want it to be a one-stop shopping, you want that to be your salesperson, mm -hmm. your 24 hours a day salesperson, answers all of your questions, and basically takes your, your customer uh, all the way through the product, they know what that product does, if it will meet the requirements, they know how much it's gonna cost to ship if you have it in stock, and then get them to that buy button. And it's interesting, because uh, like we spoke about earlier, we say the same thing to brands when they're building a range B profile. You wanna make sure that any question that a retail buyer might have about your product gets answered in there exactly. and highlight everything that they would wanna know uh, to take that next step. Exactly right. So let's talk about some tactics, you know, how do you make sure that your product content is optimized? Okay, so optimized product content is an evolutionary concept. Mm -hmm. uh, what it was last year is not what it should be today. So you have to have the basics. The basics are what this product is, the attributes, the images, a video, uh, the bullet points mm -hmm. that we just spoke about. Um, it used to be that rich A plus content was an option. That's no longer an option. Mm -hmm. People on mobile devices require 
getting information quicker than ever. They're not going to look at attributes like in the old comparison TV days. They're going to look at the A plus and say, this product does this, it does that. They're going to see the views. It's a mix of text and images and videos. And then they'll make a buying decision based on that. That and reviews are very important. So the tactics that today's most successful retailers uh, should adopt is having maximum number of images, videos, good A plus rich content. Um, and those will get you to a good status on your website. But today's buyers are also looking to see what does this product look like in an a XR world? Mm -hmm. So virtual reality images are becoming more and more important. That allows a product, a customer to see that product in a 360 mode, see all different elements of that, but also to place that element in their own office or home or environment. So you can see what that chair looks like in your office. Mm -hmm. Does it fit? Is it the right color? If you're buying a rug, you see if it fits in your hallway. These are all virtual shopping experiences that are just extremely important. And then we get to sustainability and green attribution, which is growing very rapidly. This is a requirement for the government now, for large corporations, and more and more consumers, about 70% of consumers are now aware of environmental aspects when making a buying decision, 70%. So it's super important to include all sustainability attribution and factors that you have so that consumer can make a, a decision. And if you're a manufacturer, it's just so important to have the, that product data available to your buyers and your channel partners. What about uh, a brand story, uh, origin story, things like that? Would that be part of the marketing copy? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. We refer to that too uh, as about the brand and this is where a brand is telling why they're special. Mm -hmm. It's telling their history. It's, it's the about us on their, on their mm -hmm. website. And the more you can differentiate your brand from competitors, the more advantage you have. And this is so rich in, in SEO, it's very mm -hmm. important. So sure, every manufacturer or vendor wants to have the About Us uh, available for their resellers to place on the site with the SKUs. This can be on a brand level, can even be on a SKU level if appropriate. Great, so essentially you want this content uh, optimized to first get people to the product page through search, and then once they're there, say, I wanna buy this. <laughs> that's, that's exactly right. And for them to know exactly what they're buying, reduce re returns, and to have a good feeling about this. They, they purchased this product, it's exactly what they want, it's by a trusted source, um, and make it create excitement. And that's going to create a good buying experience. This is true in everything that we buy as consumers, and for them to feel they've gotten a good deal on it. It's not always about the, the lowest price, mm -hmm. it's about the buying experience. And as we spoke about in our, in our meeting, most people are willing to pay more for a higher quality product. Mm -hmm. That can be perceived quality too. Perceived quality is, is grown or based upon good product display pages. Good product display pages are an important element of a brand and, and your pricing strategy. Excellent. So we got about one minute left. Tell us about how GFK and IQ helps brands do this. Good question. So GFK is by far the world's largest predominant provider, syndicator of product content. We've been doing this for over 30 years. Uh, we have well over 20 million SKUs, virtually every reseller uh, on the planet. This is from the very largest resellers, the, the Targets, the Walmarts, the Amazons, lots of SMBs and the important uh, distributors the very large distributors in the world, and then uh, in both consumer electronics and office products. And what we do is we provide, we work with many manufacturers, 27 or, or 28,000 manufacturers, and we work with those manufacturers to collect all that content. We then normalize that content and syndicate it out to those channel partners for the very best product content display pages. Uh, we have the most experience with this, and we work with those brands to optimize, continually optimize, as I mentioned, it's, it's a moving target, mm -hmm. uh, continually optimize that shopping experience. And at, at, at the last word, the last sentence is about improving conditions, improving conversions for your resellers to, uh, for your reseller 
uh, to actually make a buying decision uh, and for you to grow in your sales. Excellent. Well, thank you again for your presentation and I uh, look forward to uh, seeing you at more of our sessions. Great. Thanks, thank Joe. You. Appreciate it.